right, let's do a slightly different experiment than what we discovered in the first half of the blog on our RAND 3D Insights from Within. We're talking about how to mirror patterns. In the previous example, we used that multi-body modeling approach to have that flange on the left-hand side be its own separate body. We mirrored it and then put it to the other side. Now this body that we did in the previous example, it has the very first feature being a pad feature, which means that the body is inherently positive, so Katia knows to create mass. That it, a Boolean operation that you see above it, the assemble, is going to tell Katia to assemble that positive body, which includes the mirroring of the pattern to the other side. So now we're going to do a slightly different approach where we are going to create something that removes mass inherently. So we're going to take this uh, little slot shape that you see here and make a pocket. And one thing that is important to remember, you know, a little bit of foresight here, I am going to eventually put these into their own separate body. So. If I put them into a separate body, it's not going to be able to register like the up to next or up to last as a depth option. So just make sure you're not choosing one of those. So in this case, I'm just going to make it a shallow pocket, so a depth of four millimeters. And then we'll take that feature and pattern it. So the object is the actual pocket. I'll tell it to go in the Y direction. We'll do three instances and just flipping it so that way it goes down the negative Y direction. So just like before, we are going to highlight our features. And you can do that with the control key or the shift key. We're going to right click on those features and we're going to tell those features to be inserted into their own new independent body. Now I do get this warning box that will pop up that talks about the polarity of the body for the selected features being different and it may cause the Boolean operations to just behave differently. And we'll see this here in just a second. So because my first feature is a pocket, this body will become negative. Now generally an assemble on a negative body knows that it should remove mass, uh, but it doesn't do that in this case. So it's assembling body six, which it's hard to see, but there's a little negative sign there that's in yellow. But you can see that it doesn't actually look like it removed material anymore inside of body six. So first step is to do the actual mirror command inside of body six, just like we did in the previous step. So I'm mirroring it about that center plane. And then now we're going to have to turn that assemble, because again, that little warning set message said it may act differently. We're going to turn that assemble with a right click into a remove. So a remove now says take that mass that the body is occupying space and then remove that away from, in this case, our main part body. So this is how you're going to tackle the approach of mirroring a pattern in a negative body circumstance.